Ah, the big city. The exotic smells, the hustle and bustle. This is what the Liqueur Kingdom is all about. Ha! You sound like some kind of country hick out on vacation. Is there something wrong with that, Claude? No, no problem. Cross can't hold a candle to this place. No wonder they call this the biggest kingdom in the world. Yeah, I know what you're saying. We've come just at the perfect time, too. It's right before the start of the armory contest. We might even get to watch some of it if we're lucky. Yeah, that's fine and all, but can't you guys save that for later? We've got business to take care of. What? Huh? Nothing. Welcome. You can sign up for the contest here. Are you sure about this, Claude? Of course I'm sure. I'm entering the Liqueur Armory contest. But, I mean, everyone else is going to be really strong, I bet. You might get seriously hurt. Are you saying that I'm too weak to stand a chance? You know that's not what I meant. I've never had anyone give me an impartial view of my strength. Heck, I've never had anyone so much as recognize me for my talents instead of my name. That's why I think this is a great chance for me. A chance to test myself. Claude. Besides, there's someone in this tournament I've just got to meet. Do you mean Diaz? Uh... Claude C. Kenny, is that correct? All right. I've taken care of your application. Make sure you find a sponsoring weapon shop and register with them by the day before the tournament. I got it. You know, Claude, if you're gonna be in the tournament, I suppose that means we'll be in liqueur for at least a few days. Yeah. Sorry to be such a pain in the neck. Please, don't worry about that. Actually, I'm very impressed, you know, seeing you challenge yourself like this. Thanks. I guess I owe you guys a victory now, don't I? Yes, you do. But before that, don't you have to go find a weapon shop to sponsor you? Oh, right. Signing up at the castle wasn't enough, was it? There are weapon shops all over Liqueur. It shouldn't be too hard to find one. Let's take a look around the city. I want to go visit them all before I make a decision.
Well, I guess this means I'm officially entered now. It's interesting, isn't it? For the combatants, this is a matter of life and death, but for everyone else, it's like a national festival. Well, it doesn't bother me at all. If you've got a chance to let loose, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. Claude. Everyone has a different goal in life, you know? There's no point trying to force them down one way or the other. Oh, why so serious? Come on, it's gonna be a blast! You're right. Let's paint the town red until the tournament starts. Train your skills, play around, just do whatever you want. We can stay in liqueur until the day of the tournament, right? Yeah. Not only is the inn free for tournament contestants, but they'll even wake me up on battle day so I don't sleep through it. All right. Now let's go have some fun. Welcome to the Lacour Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm one of the contestants in the tournament. Ah, yes. I see your Armory Contest badge. Could I have your name, please? Claude C. Kenny. Claude C. Kenny. Indeed, your name's on the list. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. However, I must warn you that participants are not allowed to leave the city until after the armory contest is over. Do you have anything left to take care of? Very good. I've assigned you to the gate suite. Please enjoy your stay. Now we just have to wait for the big day. I could have joined the contest too, if I didn't have these guys latched onto my back. <sighs> Whoa! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. Time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. What are you so nervous about, Reyna? It's not like you're the one fighting. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Reyna? I... I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. completed his sword. Please, would you mind using it in the contest? Huh? What store does your granddad run? The one in that house over there. That's my grandfather's shop. Don't be stupid, kid. That's just a run-down old shack. No! It's my grandfather's shop! Really? Well, quit trying to pull one over on me, okay? I need to go find a real store to sponsor me before the contest starts.
What's the matter? Is something bothering you? Do you know anyone fighting in the contest, lady? The contest? My grandfather's forged a sword for the big contest, but nobody wants to use it. It's a really great sword, I swear. Well, I've got a friend who's going to be participating. We can try asking him. Really? Oh, I think he's already chosen a shop, though. That's not going to work, then. You can't switch shops once you've made your decision. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know. How about we go look for someone together? Look where? Well, if you want to meet a lot of fighters, the tavern's definitely the place to go. My grandfather didn't want me going in there. He said it was too uncivilized for me. Hmm. Well, I'll be accompanying you, so it won't be that bad, right? You think we'll find someone who'll take our sword, though? Of course we will! Alright, let's go! You got it! See all the tough-looking guys in here? I'm sure some of them still haven't found a shop yet. Let's get a really strong-looking one. Nobody too scary, though. We better get someone who's nice and handsome. Okay. I probably shouldn't leave Sophia alone in here. Reina, is that you? Diaz! What are you doing here? Why so surprised? I told you I was entering the tournament. Did you mean what you said in the Forest of Symbols? Maybe I did. It wasn't that long ago, you know. You must be going senile early if you've forgotten about it already. What about you, Reyna? Did you get in another argument? This isn't any place for a girl to drink alone, you know. That's not why I'm here! I'm just looking for a tournament fighter willing to use this sword that Sophia's grandfather made. A sword? What the hell, kid? You got a death wish or something? Tell me one more time how I'm not that much of a swordsman, and I'll cut you in half, little girl. Well, stop picking on my grandfather's sword! Oh, what? You saying that doddering old coot's a master swordsmith? Come on, that sword couldn't even slice bread. How would you know before you try? Who the hell are you? The swords of Lacour are masterpieces. 
There's little room for argument about that. A fine liqueur sword is a weapon of world-class caliber, one that deserves all the reverence it gets. Ha! <laughs> Glad someone's got a little taste around here. But this town's been riding on its reputation for too long, and the quality has suffered. Lacour swords are getting duller by the year. What was that? I've been to every weapon shop in town, and not a single one has managed to catch my interest. Diaz, you haven't registered with the store yet? So what? All that proves to me is that you don't know nothing about what makes a good sword. We'll see about that at the tournament. No sword of yours will be enough to stand a chance against me. Ha! <laughs> Tell you what! How about you drop the lip for now and we'll settle this in the arena with an audience watching? I can hardly wait. Reyna, you're coming with me. Look, how stupid do you have to be to start a fight with a bunch of drunken goons at a tavern? Hey, I'm not stupid! Anyway, you said your grandfather's sword is the best. Does he have one ready? Oh, of course! Granddad Gamgee's swords are the best in the world! You'll win for sure with the one he made! Gamgee... What is it, Diaz? Reyna, from now on I don't want to be seen together with you anymore. Stop wandering around and go back to your friends right now. What's your problem all of a sudden? I don't want him to get upset at me like that again. What are you talking about? I'm going to go visit this little girl's grandfather. There's no reason for you to tag along. I guess not, but... Will he be in the tournament? Claude? Yes, he's in. Tell him this. Win, and keep on winning until the final round. Dias, wait! Ugh, it's always like this. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Are you all right, madam? You look pale. I'm fine. I just need to rest in my room for a bit. No one else found out about my encounter with Diaz, not even Claude. I looked around town a few more times hoping that I'd see him again, but I never did. Not until the day of the tournament. <laughs>